Following government's downsizing of the sugar industry, the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, NDIA, assumed drainage and irrigation duties from Gaisuko in June 2017. At present, however, several West Bank Demerara farmers, including those at Bellevue, are still awaiting the Agriculture Ministry's sub-agency's assistance in clearing irrigation canals, which is a necessity in crop management and maintaining good husbandry practices. Wills Estate was closed in December 2016, and since then, farmers and residents say that little or no rehabilitation works to canals have been undertaken. Producers of the Bellevue Cade Farmers Co-op Society petitioned President David Granger in 2015 so that they can be allowed to plant diversified crops, and after receiving the go-ahead in 2017, they continue to face the losses owing to the lack of access to water. Twenty-something of us lose, I will say, an average of about 40,000 each. Mm, and and we plow the land, spray the land, water the land, plant it. We try to dip water even when it can work. And what, any, comp any yeah, compensation? Yeah. No? We have not ventured any compensation because we just diverse our other crop. We were hoping that the Minister of Agriculture will come and visit us and provide some farmer grant. He said they should be at least in the 50,000 to 100,000 range as they have lost crops earlier this year ranging from bora, pumpkin, same and watermelon during the dry season. They are now trying their hand with cassava, plantains, bananas and sweet potatoes which can better withstand the weather conditions. While the President Granger and his cabinet are sympathetic to us to go into other crops, you have some skullduggery going on within NDI and the Ministry of Agriculture. That the NDI is supposed to provide irrigation water for us. We have the infrastructure, it's just overgrown with weeds. And we don't have the capacity, the finance, or the machinery to excavate these overgrown weeds. Mm. Only NDI can do it. When the $300.7 billion budget was passed last Friday, NDIA was allocated just over $2 billion for the completion, construction, rehabilitation of drainage and irrigation structures, pump stations, and payment of retention. In December 2016, when Wales Estate was closed, water in the access canals leading to the Community Creek had flowed freely to the Wales area through the community of Renistain. However, when Gaisuku stopped maintaining the many pond trenches, many of the channels became blocked. Shemuel Fanfare, The Evening News.